What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel, where today we are going to discuss the best six products according to its performance, budget, value, and more. Check out the description for the latest prices and information. Microsoft Surface Go 3. The Microsoft's Surface Go 3 falls into the two-in-one categories, which means it can function as a tablet or even a fully-fledged laptop. It's the only tablet in the list that runs a full operating system. Any program designed for Windows will run on this thin, ultralight machine. However, the Surface Go 3 is actually better used as a tablet in practice. It's powerful enough to hold up well during general use tests, which include browsing the web, streaming video, and working on documents. However, the Intel Pentium Gold processor must be more powerful to handle massive Photoshop documents or 4K videos. This becomes even more reliable if you bump up the Go 3s to its maximum 8 gigabytes of memory and 128 gigabyte of storage option. The Surface Go 3's touchscreen is very responsive, and you can get away with using any stylus you want for casual note taking. For the best experience, you'll want to pony up the extra cash for Microsoft's Surface Slim Pen 2, which is much more responsive. The Slim Pen 2 also turns the Surface Go 3 into a solid drawing tablet. The kickstand is sturdy enough to use this tablet when it's sat on your legs or desk. You'll even get away with using it on an airplane tray table when the person in front of you is totally reclined. The ability to run Windows makes the Surface Go 3 most like a traditional laptop and one of the most versatile tablet options. iPad Air 5th Gen There are plenty of cheap tablets for note-taking that offer basic functionalities. But Apple's 2022 iPad offers a significant upgrade with a new A14 Bionic chip, a larger screen, longer battery life, better cameras, and even more. The 10th Gen's tablet is 20% faster than the 2021 models, allowing users to seamlessly switch between taking notes, browsing the web, or playing games as well. Apple also swapped the Lightning connectors for the industry-standard USB-C, and the graphics boast a 10% improvement. The 10.9-inch screen features Apple's True Tone technology, making it easier on the eyes whether you're taking notes in a giant lecture hall or outdoors. It also has a new and improved 12-megapixel camera that takes better photos in low-light settings compared to its predecessors, so you can easily take clear visual notes. The 2022 iPad pairs with the first-gen Apple Pencil and the new Magic Keyboard Folio, so you can write down your thought on the scribble note-taking apps markup PDFs and screenshot, highlight items, convert your handwritings into text, sketch illustrations, and design logos. Suppose you plan on catching up on your favorite movies and TV shows. In that case, the Liquid Retina display promises vibrant details and colors. The tablet weighs about one pound, making it a travel-friendly option for mobile entertainment. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus is a great pick if you want to feel the natural flows of notes while writing. It features a 12.4-inch AMOLED display, which, beside being easy on the eye, it renders fast motion responses, so you can type and scroll without any lag. The 120Hz refresh rate also makes the tablet more speedy and responsive, so you'll feel like you're jotting notes on the paper instead of a tablet. The latency of the included S Pen is reduced to 6.2 ms, which is a major improvement from the previous version with 9 ms. It works flawlessly on the AMOLED display, making your note-taking or sketching experience smooth. Security-wise, the in-display fingerprint sensor works conveniently, providing the assigned finger isn't wet or sweaty. It ensures notes and confidential data aren't accessible by unauthorized users. Your note-taking sessions don't have to be boring especially if your creativity is inspired by music. This tablet features high-performing side-firing quad speakers that let you play tunes to boost your memory and concentration while handling creative tasks. Fire HD 8 Where Apple has dominated the premium tablets market with its iPad ranges, Amazon has had great success at the affordable end, offering budget-friendly Fire tablet at different sizes and price, but with easy access to popular apps and services as well. With its 2022 updates to the popular 8-inch models, Amazon sought to make it a faster tablet. As always, there are multiple models. There's the regular Fire HD's 8 and HD 8 Plus, but there's also a kid's edition. 
Being an 8-inch tablet means it's smaller than your typical full-size tablets like the iPads or Fire 8D 10s. That means it's quite easy to carry around in your bags, even if you only have a handbag. The focus on practicality means you get a 3.5mm port for headphone for those who prefer wired personal audios over wireless that sit on the same edges as the USB-C charging ports, power buttons, volume up or down. As it happens, which one is up or down depends on the device's orientation. It adapts to how you're holding it. Battery life is strong. Amazon says about 13 hours of mixed usages is possible, which means it should last you a few days between charges. With a couple of hours of daily use, you'll only have to charge it once every four to five days. The new Fire HD 8's biggest strength is the same thing that has consistently made the Amazon Fire tablet so appealing. It's an affordable and easy way to access movies, TV shows, and games. Wacom Cintiq Pro 16 If you want a tablet for taking notes but know you also need one for art classes, the Wacom Cintiq Pro 16 does both beautifully. Designed with the artist in mind, this tablet allows you to be creative first and foremost. Think of this tablet like a sketch pad. Using the Wacom Pro Pen 2, you can draw on the screen for any of your art classes. Don't worry, it can also be a place to take notes during class. But unlike a traditional tablet, this one works with your computer. You plug it in and transfer your work over. This tablet doesn't run its own CPU and doesn't function as a standalone machine. This tablet is way more than necessary for students who aren't in the arts, don't want to use their handheld to draw. However, suppose you're majoring in graphic design, digital media, or anything else art-related. In that case, this tablet is functional for all your classes. Books Note Air 2 Plus The Note Air 2 Plus looks like an e-reader, with a thicker bezel on the left sides of the display, making it easier to hold on in the same vein as the Kindle Oasis. There's some heft to the Note Air 2 Plus, weighs in at 445 grand. Its weight makes it feel quite sturdy. While the Carta glass screen is resistant to scratches and smudges, meant it could throw the device into any bag without worry. The Note Air 2 Plus comes with just one port, a USB-C charging port, and a power button. Despite leaning into the tablet formats, there are no volume buttons, although you can alter the audios from within the devices. The Note Air 2 Plus's E-Link display has a 1404 by 1872 resolutions, 227 dpi, which makes it really easy on the eyes than an OLED panel. For someone who struggles to look at screens for too long, it was never glaring and ideal to use in darker environments. The Note Air 2 Plus runs on Android 11 meaning that you can access the Google Play Store and the Kindle app. The Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus is really a fantastic e-reader. The screen was easy on the eye and could read in dark and bright environments, making it a versatile device. It's comfortable in hand, and its attractive green finish gives the device more personality. As such, it's an excellent alternative to the Kindle e-reader out there and a device that you should undoubtedly buy if you're interested in doodling and taking notes on your reader. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos.